So what are you going to do? I will go get tested on on Monday as, uh, you know, as I assume everyone else on that plane will. S.V. Dante, White House correspondent for the Huffington Post and author of a book on the administration's COVID response, was on Air Force One flying back from the president's rally in Minnesota on Wednesday and spent long minutes near the aisle with the president's chief of staff. He says he has yet to hear directly from the White House Physician's Office and only learned that presidential counselor Hope Hicks was sick on the flight when others reported it. They knew that Meadows had come to the aft. Were they not going to tell us? I mean, the irresponsibility of this is stunning. Did she and the White House and the Trump campaign have a duty to inform people at that point? Dr. Amanda Castell is an epidemiologist at the GW School of Public Health. In general, when somebody is diagnosed with COVID, we hope that, um, you know, they will inform whoever they need to that they've been infected and that they will rapidly go into isolation. And I can tell you the anxiety is very high. Virginia Congressman Jerry Connolly says there are a lot of people with good reason to be concerned about their own health in addition to the president's health. There are colleagues here in the House and the Senate who traveled with him on Air Force One. There are people who were exposed with him at Bedminster, his golf course in New Jersey. The president says he's tested every day, so experts say that should help narrow the time frame when he was potentially contagious. But at MedStar, an infectious disease expert says the president's age and weight could make him more vulnerable to complications. It's early in the course, and he could be better tomorrow, or he could have a rocky course. We just don't know yet. Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.